Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter Statistics. Here is the annual academic calendar 2020 and 21, and this is the fourth week, fifth video. In this video, we will learn the solution for question number 2 of the exercise 14.3. Dear children, you see question number 2 now. If the median of 60 observations is 28.5, then find the values of x and y. I shall repeat. If the median of 60 observations is 28.5, then find the values of x and y. Here I have given two columns, the class interval and frequency. The first row stands for class interval and the second row gives the frequencies. 0 to 10 class, the frequency is 5. 10 to 20 class, the frequency is x. 20 to 30 the frequency is 20, 30 to 40 the frequency is 15, and 40 to 50 the frequency is y, and 50 to 60 the frequency is 5. If you observe, here two frequencies are missing. Here 10 to 20 class the frequency is given as x, we have to find the value of x. Similarly, in the class 40 to 50, the class frequency is given as y, we have to find this value also. Here we have to find two values x and y. In order to find these two values, we are given that the total number of observations are the sum of the frequencies as 60 it is given. And the second point is the median of the total data is 28.5. The median of the data is also given for us. We have to find the values of x and y. Now look at the solution. In order to find median, we already learned that there are three columns are necessary. The first column is for classes, the second column is for frequencies, and third column is for less than cumulative frequency. Now, the first column is for class interval or classes, and the second column is for frequency, and third column is for cumulative frequency. And let us construct a table now with these three columns. Now, if you observe, the first class is 0 to 10, and the frequency is 5. 0 to 10, the frequency is 5. Second class 10 to 20, the frequency is x. Second class 10 to 20, frequency is x. Third class 20 to 30, the frequency is 20. 20 to 30, the frequency is 20. 30 to 40, the frequency is 50. 40 to 50, the frequency is y. And 50 to 60, the frequency is 5. And it is also given that the sum of all the observations or the number of observations is equal to 60. Therefore, sigma of y, which is also named as n, which is equal to 60. Understood? Now, let us find the cumulative frequency. I already told you that the cumulative frequency is nothing but the sum of all the frequencies up to that class. Here, since there is no preceding class, the cumulative frequency of the first class is 5 itself. The second class cumulative frequency is 5 plus x is 5 plus x only. The next class cumulative frequency is 5 plus x plus 20. 20 plus 5 is 25 plus x. The next class cumulative frequency is 25 plus x plus 15. 25 plus 15 is 40 plus x. This class cumulative frequency 40 plus x plus y. 40 plus x plus y. And the last class cumulative frequency 40 plus x plus y plus 50 is 45 plus x plus y. Understood? This is the cumulative frequency column. And these are the cumulative frequencies. And these are the classes. Now, after writing the classes, you have to pick up the median class. What is median class? Median class is nothing but the class in which n by tooth score lie. n by tooth score. Here, n value is 60. Since n value is 60, what is n by 2? 60 by 2 is 30. Therefore, the class in which the 30th value lies is called median class. Can you distinguish between median class and model class? Model class is the class in which the highest frequency lies. And whereas median class is the class in which n by tooth score lie. Here, most of the cases, median class and model class may be equal. But in some cases, the median class may be different from model class. Median class is the class in which n by tooth score lie, whereas model class is the class in which the highest frequency lies. Here in this case, 
since n by 2 is equal to 30, if you observe the tth value lies here, or if you observe uh, the given value median is 28.5, the given distribution median is 28.5, this 28.5 lies in this class, lies in between 20 to 30, therefore you can consider this as median class. Since this is the median class, then L value lower boundary is equal to 20 and F is the frequency of the median class which is also equal to 20 and the cumulative frequency of the above class, above 2 median class is 5 plus X which can be treated as CF, cumulative frequency. Understood? Now let us write the formula to find median. The formula to find median of a group of data is equal to L plus N by 2 minus CF by F into H. Here L value is equal to 20, N value is equal to 60, CF value is equal to 5 plus X, F value is equal to 20 and H. H means the height of the class, the difference between any two successive lower boundaries or any two successive upper boundaries which is equal to 10. You substitute all these known values. We already know that the median is equal to 28.5. Now median is equal to L value is 20 plus N by 2. N by 2 means 60 by 2 is 30. Minus CF means minus 5 minus X by F. Small f is 20 into H value is 10. Now what is the median value? Median of 60 observation is 28.5, therefore median is 28.5 is equal to 20 plus 30 minus 5 is 25 minus x and this 10 in 20 2 times. Now bring this 20 to the other side, then 28.5 minus 20 is 8.5, 8.5 is equal to 25 minus x by 2. If you take this 2 to the other side, here it is dividing, if you take it to the other side, you should multiply 8.5. 2 into 8.5 is 17 is equal to 25 minus x. Or x is equal to, take this minus x this side and plus 17 to other side. Minus x this side is plus x is equal to 25 minus 17. What is 25 minus 17? 8. Therefore, x value is equal to 8. After getting x value, now if you sum up all these frequencies, we know that this value is equal to 60. If we add all these frequencies, we will get 45 plus x plus y. Therefore, 45 plus x plus y is equal to 60. Here, substitute x value. 45 plus x value 8 plus y is equal to 60. Or this is 53. If we take this 53 to other side, then y is equal to 60 minus 53, which is equal to 7. Therefore, x value is equal to 8 and y value is equal to 7. Dear children, at the introduction to the chapter statistics and all the questions and solutions from exercise 14.1, 14.2 and 14.3 are given in the description. You can click the video link and you can observe the videos. Thank you. Thank you Ananda.